Uh, I really don't like picking up the Strax. Just, I was planning on like, pulling up Melganis ASAP with Void Caller, and hopefully I make it to turn four without losing too badly. I mean, I have some good cards, but also, I guess, like, a couple of bad, really useless cards right now. The Dread Infernal Draxus. Make this really awkward for me. I could say this is taunt some bigger minions, but I'd be taking the Worgen damage. I, I guess, like, at least two more two more attacks. That's six damage just from this guy. I'm gonna really need to get Draxus out. These two are gonna be bad. I mean, Melganis if I said Draxus. I don't need cards. Like, against Face Hunter, uh, there's no way I, I can be tapping. I shouldn't have even tapped the last turn. For some reason, I missed like the Lepernome turn one. I guess it's a decent sign. He just starts burning me. Probably means that he doesn't have chargers in his hand, or I believe chargers would go first. Another thing is, it's kind of like he has another kill command if he's kill coming now, so I can't really play Belcher. I wouldn't really die to kill command actually if I killed the beast. Alright, let's play my Belcher here. So I can trade like this. Let's trade like this first. Hopefully I, I pull out my my Malganus. I still have another option of just Draxus turn 9 to heal me. Might not make it there though. So that's explosive. And since we do have Draxus turn 9, it's another option is just for me to not to attack until turn 9 because it gives me a better chance of dying. So let's say I attack this turn, uh, I'd go to 5, then here perhaps I'm down to 3, next turn turn 8. I mean I would still survive but I guess there's not much of a point. I, I, I'm so far ahead here. If I survive to Draxus that, I don't think he'll win anyways. I might as well play it safer. Uh, it is better for me to lock in more taunts relative to, say, playing around Unleash the Hounds. Like, Un Unleash wouldn't matter if I have this many points of taunts. This is like face hunter, not mid-range hunter. Midrange, it's a little bit more awkward to play around the explosive like this. I can't play Dr. Boom uh, because if I played Dr. Boom, I'd never room for Draxus. I have seven minions and I'd have to attack in a trap. Like if he does, it's, if he gets me a one like that, I'm, I'm just screwed, so. Another thing is like if he has two explosive traps, by not proccing the first one, you can't use the second one until until after a heal, which 
No, I would have space, but I can't prop the explosive sometimes if he gets me low enough. Like, even if the traps kill my bombs, if I'm at already two or less life, then that doesn't work. Because I can't actually attack. Like, sometimes I'm not able to attack into the explosive before playing Jaraxxus. It's really good to just build up taunts against Hunter. So, so my best top decks soon are going to be some of the demons. I guess it's better for me to top deck like Sunfury next turn than than demon on turn four. That'd be perfect. I think this is early enough in the game where I should still tap, even against Fate Center. I mean, my start is pretty good. I only took eight damage so far, even against a pretty good opening. So, When I do finally kill this Leopard Gnome, I can like push myself to Molten Range really quickly. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so when I proc this trap, I'll have 10 life. That means like I get a free giant here. Oh, also this Dread Infernal. That's a I guess that's a demon, right? So I want to play defender here. I guess I'll be wasting two mana. That's okay. It's not worth it for me to like Argus these two to save them. Because I get to Argus two very much bigger minions. It's looking pretty good for me. He's already used one kill command and I have left that to lock out a turn. And I'll probably be able to kill him, I'd say, two turns from now. Okay, only one on face. And I will be just ignoring these. Let's see. Even kill command, eight mana, doesn't kill me since I'm locking him out. Should be fine. I, mean, I do want to kill next turn. I think that's too weird. Let's see. The only thing I die to is double owl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then is there any possible I can't kill him? Eleven. Yeah, I'm going face. I, what I should have done is probably trade like this. That way I don't die double owl. Because if he has another explosive trap, he can actually trade all of his minions. Get this to 7-2, I believe. And then I don't have enough damage with just these three minions, 14 plus 2, 16 damage. Without this attack, I wouldn't be able to kill him through an explosive trap. <laughs> okay, so no owls. It's kind of weird. I'm actually going to keep uh, the Dark Bomb and the Owl. Owl is, I guess, for mostly things like Flame Tongue and Manatai Totem against Shaman, and Dark Bomb is for Mech Warper. It's kind of weird because those are like different decks, but I don't know what 
what kind of shaman he is. I'm pretty strongly incentivized to take board control against shaman. Because of the owl here, I can just silence this and start killing totems. The only thing is, like, I kind of want to tap for another demon, but I think this is more important. For the most part, like, this kind of shaman probably has hex anyway, so I guess I'm just gonna play it. It's kind of a weird, weird card to see. I'm trying to think if I, if I can kill it somehow. Dark Bomb, I need to use 6 damage. I could kill it, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so Lightning Storm, unless he has spell power, I don't think it's that bad, since all these minions are too big. If I was more weak to Lightning Storm, I'd just trade this guy. I guess I'm just going to face. I wonder if he can be running Molten Giants as well. That could be kind of weird. If it's like, <laughs> if it's like a Hand Shaman or something. I mean, he's running Acolyte Pain, so Twilight Drake. Huh. See what I get. It's not a good one. I'm starting to get pretty weak to AoE now. Actually, maybe I should attack this guy into here. I was thinking of healing with Earthen Ring first here, but I think that would have put me too weak to Lightning Storm. I wanted to at least tap. I think I want some board presence over the tap because like I have some nice drops Dr. Boom, Belcher. Um, like if I want to drop Dr. Boom and he has a Void Call already, it does trade pretty well into Dr. Boom. So I mean that's like kind of weird, 3-3 into 3-1. The other alternative isn't too great for me either. It's actually not the greatest turn for Dr. Boom. Because all it needs is like one Fire Elemental. Plus the Chasm Mystic trades pretty well into it. Farsight, interesting. I mean, this is definitely not like a combo deck. It's not like he can have something like Malagos plus a lot of spells. I think I guess Farsight is just because he's a big mana curve. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Since he's a hand shaman, he wants to play early game stuff that doesn't decrease his hand size. So the Farsight gets to like draw a card, kind of like develop the Farsight. If the two boom bots were like together, I could sun for your both boom bots. Huh, I guess it still makes a little bit of sense because there's a chance that the boom bot kills the Kazan Mystic if I taunt it up. I guess it's too small of a shot and I probably need some cards more so than trying to pull something like that. I guess I, I definitely would have done it if the bin bots were together and I can just taunt both of them up. Because this is kind of weak to Fire Elemental. <laughs> I mean, he definitely has some synergy going in his deck. I'm just not sure what, what other cards he has. Like the Death Lord MC tech is a pretty cool combo. You kind of like flood their board.
Huh, I actually can't kill it. Actually, I can Dread Infernal and kill it. Let me tap first. There's some below average bin bots. I don't really need a taunt for later for Molten Giants. Alright, let's see 11, 12, 13. With Shadow Flame, I can't kill him still, I believe. I should still Shadow Flame here. Gonna save the big game here. I don't know if he has some. I don't know. I guess like Molten Giants. He would have played Molten Giants already. He was at 10 before. <laughs> it's like he has like a whole handful of just stuff I have no idea. This doesn't even have Parliamentals. Oh. I think his hand is. is Colite Oracles. It might be like a Fatigue Shaman now that I think about it. I just can't wrap my mind around what he's doing because he hasn't even played fire elementals so <laughs> okay never mind law reverse uh. It was a Malaga Sean. It's that's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and keep the zombie channel. Keeping Dread Infernal kind of makes sense because of the void callers. It's like a pretty good guy to void caller out. But I, I guess I'll just mulligan it. It's t without without the void caller already in my hand. It's like the channel is basically here. To, just to fight against armor smiths or something. It's not too important though because the four drops I have are so good against armor smiths anyways. I can just ignore armor smith and just drop Twilight Drake later on, but something just doesn't feel too right about Mulvaney's army chow. The deck list is 28 cards on the right. It's just too long. It's not like a replacement. I think this match is too much about value. If I don't get a demon, I will just tap next turn and play one of the two drops. It's ve not very important for me to save Sun Furies, I believe. against warrior I still need some more like stuff to do going into like turn five six and seven if I had like already had like a belcher or something, well, I guess I, if I already had a five draw, I probably would have just played instead of Dark Bomb. But I don't know if I had some six and sevens, I probably would have just played Sun Fury here instead of tap. But basically, I need some stuff to do, so I'm still tapping.
Okay, so, I mean, my 3 ones actually better off, like, attacking like this. Because this guy's, like, kind of irrelevant, dies for free, but if he plays Deathbite, he can kill my guy. So I might want to just do this trade anyways. Like, one thing I was saying, I was just leaving up the 3-1 and trading both for the Belcher and leaving up the Slime. It's not a big deal. It's just, like, Deathbite would kind of allowed him to get a lot better trades by leaving up the 1-1 one, one, or 1-2. One, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I have BGH. It does bait out my BGH though. But <laughs> whatever, it's pretty cool. I was thinking of saving this for Sylvanas. The thing is, I actually have enough damage that I can ignore Sylvanas. Like, I think he's just dead if he plays Sylvanas. Um, against Brawl, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, either way, this is actually better against Brawl because this will probably die anyways and I, I get 12 damage in this way. Uh, the big thing though is if I trade like this, I'd be weak to execute. So, I don't really want to attack Melganis into Belcher with the Belcher protecting my Melganis right now from execute. I mean, I, I think he doesn't have BGH since he left out my Malganus. So if he has to execute this, it's really important for me to protect it. This is my only owl, so Savalas is going to be real awkward for me from here on, but if he gets to play one later. <laughs> oh man. Okay. As long as my Malganus doesn't die. 9, 10, 11, 14. I need 6 more damage. Okay. Oh, uh, ouch. The value, Mel Guinness. I guess it means you probably can't even attack into Malganus, like, the face. I'm, I'm going for the Ancient Watcher plus Owl. It's so powerful against Mech Mage. If I can get that off. Watcher is a pretty good keep, though, because also, like, if they're running Mirror Entity, it's a nice bait for Mirror Entity for Mech Mage. If I don't top deck the owl, I'm going to be tapping and not dropping the Watcher here. Sorcerer Apprentice. I mean, it's not that great for me to owl and attack. Like, three twos are much better. Then two threes at fighting at fighting this guy. It's still good enough though. I mean he might drop another minion and I can kill the other minion if it's weaker weaker to the trade. So there's like three owl targets for me. Well, now there's no point in me silencing it. I mean, I've already killed what I wanted to kill. Thing is, hmm. It's just, let's just silence the creeper. Basically, since I have like this Watcher Sun Fury combo, if he does play, or if he does get the Mirror Entity out, I can just like bait out the Mirror Entity with Watcher and then Sun Fury it up. I was thinking just silencing this guy to trade, anyways. 
but I can still Sun Fury this five or four two. I guess it's still better than than nothing. Like you know, I can still just play this Watcher and Sun Fury here. Still, still can get some use out of this Watcher. So I guess I'm not scared of Meritity at all. I think that's probably the most likely secret as well. It doesn't feel right to silence the Mad Scientist here. I'm just gonna like develop my board normally until the Meritity comes down. It's kind of weird because let them trades kind of poorly against Shredder, but I can't really kill the Shredder with Dark Bomb and kill the second half of it. Probably not much to do either. So I'll just like try her out normally. Let that have into Sylvanas if I can. I think this is too tempting to Hellfire. Sylvanas is good as well. He can trade all, all of them into Sylvanas. I'm just gonna Hellfire here while I can. Okay, so it's looking like it's not your entity. Maybe it's Counterspell. At this point, that's the second most likely. I guess I could actually rule out Duplicate as well, since the, the Mad Scientist was not played last. The last minion played was the zombie chow, so that one got duplicated. Well, it's the one that was played after Mad Scientist, so... I'm not sure if that, like, which one was directly after, but... Regardless, it's not duplicated either. Probably Counterspell. <laughs> I mean, if I'm really sure, if I can just, like, Morgul to proc it. But, I'm not sure if there's a great reason for that. I think I'm better off just, like... I guess, like, the reason is because I can use my one mana this turn perfectly and get rid of the counter spell but like for example if he has another counter spell in his hand then he can play it again i might want to just combo this more when i when i need to I have no time for games. when i need to cast a spell like for example if i want a dark bomb or shadow flame just do it as a combo Morkul first i think that's better this is only i guess for mana considerations to Morkul now and also it's weird if it's not a uh, counterspell. The other secrets would be something like Ice Block, Ice Barrier, Spellbender. I think it's very unlikely. I almost don't want to strand my Solanus, but it's like, it's too weird to leave this guy up in the death rattle form. Let's go ahead and play one Sun Fury. I want to overcommit against Slime Strike. I'm okay with just one though. Plus, I'm not sure if his deck's throwing Flame Strike. It seems like more of a like aggro tempo-ish deck. Even against Flamestrike, it doesn't really matter attack, I believe, because I'll be having to attack this with Dr. Boom. It doesn't really matter if it's 2-3 or 2-5. I guess if he has Flamestrike and Frostbolt together, that's one way where it'd be better. Well, I guess like if I attack, Boom Bots might just kill it against Flamestrike. So it does make sense. Well, that's kind of what I needed. 
the one we'll have to do. I need to put his Belcher first in case my Bimbot killed Mad Scientist. I don't want to give him the mirror entity with this minion. Actually, I can give him a 3-3 here. Okay, so it doesn't have another secret. We're gonna go ahead and heal this guy. I guess that's really good against Flame Strike. And just gonna go ahead and play him as well. Need to do seven more damage to kill him. It's kind of weird. I don't really have like any fodder kind of minion. I think something that would have been good if I thought about before tapping is just play Dread Infernal and, and Shadow Flame together. That would have killed everything. If it was Mirror Entity. I guess if it was Counter Spell, that'd be kind of weird. But it's, I think it's still good, right? If, if I know it's Counter Spell, then, that's, then I can just uh, trade off the 3 threes for the 4 threes. So that would have been, I think, by far the best play. It was too late, though, after I tapped. I almost feel like there's a way to kill him. I uh, can't think of it though. Okay, I'm one off. Witness the power of pure water! Minions, servants, soldiers of the cold dark, obey the call of Kel'Thuzad. The pleasure is mine. Well, this is a thorny situation. <laughs> Get it? Thorny? It's because I'm a druid. <laughs> I am humorous. Put your faith in the light! Face Jaraxxus, Eridar Lord of the Burning Legion! 